So often we would like to do the same calculation over and over again, but maybe with different values for some of the identifiers. So in order to avoid having to write the program text over and over again, we introduce the concept of a function. So here is the function sqrx calculates x times x. So function is declared with the keyboard fun, f-u-n, up until end. We have here first the header between braces, the name of the function sqr and the arguments. Here there's only one, x. And then the function calculates the expression x times x. So this is the function definition. So I feed this to the system. And now I can display the browse and I do square of 10 here. Remember, function calls like procedure calls have the braces surrounding them. This display is 100. So square of 100 of 11 is 121. It also works for different kinds of numbers. 10.1 gives 102.01. So this lets me introduce two kinds of numbers in Oz, the exact numbers, which are integers, and the approximate numbers, which are called floating point numbers, which approximate real numbers. So these two sets of numbers in Oz are completely separate, and there's no uh, mixing between the two, no automatic conversion. So the multiplication operation, when given an integer, will return an integer, when given a float, will return a float. So let me define now a function which does a little bit more. Here is a function sum digits, which is takes an integer n, uh, which is a three-digit number, and it returns the sum of the three digits of n. So in order to do that, I have to get the three digits of n. So for example, this is done using the functions div and mod. This is division and modulo, which work for integers. So for example, I can do n mod 10. This is the lower digit. And then I can do n div 10. This divides the number by 10. And if I do mod 10, this will give me the second digit. And then I can do n div 100 mod 10. This gives me the upper digit of the three-digit number. So this expression is a bigger one, and I don't want to write it over and over again when I calculate some digits. So for example, I can do some digits of 999, and this returns 27. Some digits of 888 returns 24. So the sum of the three digits. Notice I have here introduced the functions modulo, which takes two integers, calculates their integer modulo operation, and div, which calculates their integer division operation with no remainder. And so there uh, is another function called the division real floating point division to complete the set. So for example, 10.01 divided by 3.2, which is 3.1281. So notice I have here floating point division I have here integer division. The multiplication here works for both integers and floats. And then there's an operation which exists only for the integers, which is modulo. To recapitulate, we would like to execute the same code many times, but each time with different values for some of the identifiers. So in order to avoid repeating the same program code in the text of the program, we can create a function. So a function defines some particular program code to execute. And to be more precise, the way that a function is stored is stored like a value in memory. So the program code is considered a value, just like a number. Well, it's not a number, it's a different kind of value. So you can bind a variable to a function value just as easily as to a numeric value. Now, the function sqr here returns the square of its input. So it uses the keyword fun, F-U-N, and it ends with the keyword ant. It has here in the header SQR, limited by braces with an argument X, and the body of the function is an expression that calculates the result of the function. So let me talk a little bit about numbers. There are actually two kinds of numbers in Oz. There are exact numbers, integers, 
a minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 2, etc. And approximate numbers, which are known as floating point numbers, which are in fact approximations to real numbers. So real numbers cannot be represented exactly in general. They would require infinite memory space, which is why we use approximations. So integers are completely exact. There is no error in the computation, the computation exact. And in Oz, integers are represented with arbitrary precision, whatever precision you need. There is no limitation except the memory in your system. On the other hand, floating point numbers or floats approximate real numbers, so the precision is limited. And in fact, internally, the OS system uses 64-bit floating point number representation. This gives about 15 decimal digits of precision. So in OS, there is never any automatic conversion from exact to approximate and vice versa, from integer to float, vice versa. Because we have two worlds here. We have the exact world and the approximate world, and they are considered separate. There's no automatic link between the two. If you want to convert, you can do it, but you have to explicitly call functions int to float or float to int. So the design principle here is that we don't mix incompatible concepts. We don't try to create a bridge between incompatible concepts. We want the program to show any time it tries to move from one concept to another. So the sum digits function that we defined here, sum digits, which calculates the sum of digits of a three-digit positive integer in decimal notation, is defined as follows. And this uses the mod and div, modulo and division, which are integer exact operations. The slash for division is a floating point function. And the multiplication, the asterisk, is in fact overloaded. There are two operations with the same symbol, an asterisk. So you can either give it two integers and get an integer, or two floats and get a float.